All right guys, so it is springtime. It is time to get your houses clean. It is time to get your vinyl siding cleaned of all the mold and mildew. Let's see how well the super clean does in the foam cannon. Alright guys, so let me show you what I'm going to use to do this touchless vinyl siding wash. And um, this is the first time I'm going to be doing this, so hopefully this works out really well and hopefully it's helpful to you guys. But again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using just a, um, you know, a, a real simple, this is my Sunjo electric pressure washer. And uh, if, if you guys have watched the channel in the past, you know, you know I like this Sunjo pressure washer. It does a really good job for washing cars. Um, I'm also going to use my foam cannon. You know, this is just an inexpensive foam cannon I picked up off of Amazon. And then to cut through that mold and algae, whatever it is, I'm going to be using my favorite cleaner degreaser. This is super clean. What I'm going to do here is I've got, uh, what is it, 25 ounces of water. And I'm just going to fill the other 5 ounces with the super clean here. And we're going to foam the super clean onto the vinyl siding. So let me just get this filled up here. So again, that's about four or five ounces of super clean just with mixed with water. Get this shaken up a little bit. So let me take you over here to the vinyl siding, I'll show you how this works, if it does work. And um, we'll start foaming, we'll start cleaning and see how well this super clean does with algae and mold removal on vinyl siding. All right, so here's gonna be our test section of the vinyl siding. As you can see, there's about a line right here where right side is a little moldy, a little mildewy. It's not terribly bad. This is on the east side of my house, so it doesn't get that, you know, that north facing weather. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, this is what I got to work with. So let's see how well it foams and let's see how well the super clean takes care of the mold and mildew. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for maybe five minutes or so. And you know, another thing you could do with this super clean, you could spray it on full concentrated. You could mix it four to one, five to one, three to one, whatever you want in a backpack sprayer, handheld sprayer, whatever. Um, but you know, just for ease of use, I wanted to try it through this foam cannon and see how well it works. So again, let's give this some time to marinate and take care of all that mold and mildew, and then we'll come back and pressure wash it off and see the results. Alright guys, so it has been now about five minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this super clean off. And I'm gonna use the green tip, the 25 degree nozzle for the pressure washer here. And I may switch over to um, to the 15 degree, just depending on how how high I can reach with this. But let's see what all this takes off. All right, so there you go. So that's how well it rinses off with this 25 degree nozzle. Now I want to step it up a notch here and put some super clean on directly on the vinyl full strength to see how much better it performs as opposed through uh, as opposed to through the foam cannon. All right, so I've got one of my all-time favorite products from Super Clean right here. This is their aerosol spray degreaser. So let's spray this directly on the vinyl. We'll let it sit again for about three to five minutes and see how well that does with the pressure washer. All 
All right guys, so it's been five more minutes. Let's see how this super clean foam works on the vinyl siding to help remove some of that mold and mildew and algae and everything. So here we go. guys let me bring you in close here just take a look at how well this super clean did on this vinyl siding you know, all of that mold and mildew is now gone and so the um, the pressure washer that I'm using again is a Sunjo SPX uh, 2300 I believe and I think max pressure is like 2030 or something like that so the point there is it's not a commercial pressure washer it doesn't have three four five thousand psi you know to help remove any of this buildup on your vinyl siding so the use of a, a cleaner a degreaser like super clean you know will really help cut through that that scum and algae and mold and everything on your vinyl siding and really help make that cleanup a lot easier where you don't have to agitate, you don't have to brush, you just spray it on, let it sit, spray it off, and move on. The uh, Super Clean through the foam cannon, you know, it worked. It worked pretty well, but it took, you know, one and a half passes, we'll say, to knock that stuff off. But with the full strength foam Super Clean, you know, just one pass and that stuff came right off. So I think maybe next time I try this, I may just go ahead and pour super clean full strength into the foam cannon, you know, to give it some more aggression, to give it some more kick um, while it's sitting on the uh, vinyl, trying to remove all that mold and algae and mildew and everything. All right guys, so there you go. There is a pretty inexpensive and easy way to clean your vinyl siding without any scrubbing, without any agitation with probably just some tools and equipment that you have laying around your house. Again, this is just my electric pressure washer. It's not a commercial, you know, high dollar pressure washer. I'm using an inexpensive foam cannon, um, as well as a good quality, but inexpensive cleaner and degreaser, and that is super clean. Um, all of these tools and products that I've used, the super clean, the foam cannon, the pressure washer for that matter, I will have links in the description below if you guys are interested in any of these products to try out on your house and vinyl siding. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope it makes your spring cleaning a lot easier and a lot quicker. If this video has been helpful to you, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. And always, thank you guys for checking out the channel. I really and truly appreciate your support. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.